Now, folks, first thing I need to mention right away for the last stop in Madison, the one that's listed, Memorial Union, actually until the middle of August, will be at the Chase and Art Museum. Probably a few people aren't used to that. But that's due to construction on Park Street. So as soon as that construction is done, we'll be back on Langdon. But again, as of right now, until the city is saying the middle of August is when they anticipate having this construction done, um, we'll be again at the Chase and Art Museum. That's the 800 block of University Avenue. That if you're not familiar with that, that's spelled C H A. Z E M Jason Art Museum University Academy. I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome everyone aboard this morning. My name is Dan. Our scheduled arrival time in Madison at that last stop at the Jason Art Museum is 2.05 this afternoon, and we're going to be making stops in Beloit. It's actually the South Beloit Travel Center. After that, we go to Janesville, Wisconsin. We stop at the Van Alder Bus Terminal in Janesville. Leaving Janesville, then the bus goes up to Madison. The first stop in Madison is the Dutch Mill Road Park and Ride. That's Highway 51. Um, uh, and uh, broad, East Broadway, about a mile or so off uh, I-90, then on again to the Chase and RBC of our university campus as the last stop the bus makes. I'd like to point out for your convenience, there's a restroom facility in the rear of the coach. I also have to announce there's no smoking on the entire coach. That's for the authority of the U.S. Department of Transportation, which means it's federal law. That includes a restroom, no place inside the bus for that at all. People, I guess, especially going up to Madison, sometimes curious about taking a break along the way in the situation on breaks is this. But our first stop there is South Beloit. I can't leave there until the time that's published in the schedule, which is 12.30 this afternoon. Now, there's a long area of construction before we get to South Beloit. If you're familiar with the route in between Elgin and Rockford, Illinois, it's about a 35-mile stretch. That's all under construction. And that does affect our arrival time in South Beloit quite a bit. A normal day, I'll get in as a weekend. We're supposed to leave there at 12.30 normally. That's about the time I get, give or take a few minutes, about the time I get into South Beloit. So it doesn't really leave us time enough for a break. But after South Beloit, the next stop, Janesville, Wisconsin, there's a driver change. That's not the same as a bus transfer. You're going to stay with this bus for Madison. It just means that another driver will take over the bus in Janesville. And the driver change process normally takes us around 10 minutes to do so. If you'd like to have a break during the driver change in Janesville, that should work out fine. I'll make an announcement in regards to that just before we make that stop as well. From everyone at Dan Galder Bus, I'd like to say thank you. Then one announcement that the office has asked the drivers to make in regards to cell phone usage on the bus because from time to time the office does have people calling them complaining about cell phones. So they just ask the drivers to make an announcement about cell phone etiquette on the bus as one of the most. So it seems like the number one complaint that they get involves the length of the call. If you have a phone you'd like to use, that's understandable. But try keeping the call as short as you possibly can. The main complaint that they hear about are calls over five minutes. So if you try keeping your calls less than that, that'll help more than anything else. The other couple of things that they do hear about from time to time, once in a while someone will talk kind of loudly on the cell phone. I know it's a little bit noisy in here, road noise and wind noise, things like that. But if you're having trouble communicating on the cell phone, don't compensate by talking louder. What I found with cell phones, usually something just above a whisper in your phone will normally pick up on your voice if that volume is fine. That is fine for us. And the last thing, ringtone volumes are sometimes that kind of loud. Again, if your phone is on and you think you might get a call on the bus, it's understandable. Just take a moment now. Make sure the ringtone volume is turned down. So if you do get a call on the bus, the ringtone won't be irritating. Others around you, that'll help too. Okay. And that's it. Thank you.